Pops, uh, welcome to another week. We are now in a new series called Our Relationship with God. Uh, we're still looking through the book of Proverbs and going to be spending a lot of time in the book of Proverbs over the next few month, months, but we are now moving into this new series of Our Relationship with God. Uh, we've kind of moved from this idea of having a bunch of different things in our backpack that we need for the road ahead, uh, but now it's taking that next step and thinking, okay, what... What do I do with those things and how can I further my relationship with God? So I'm so excited for this next series and how um, your groups are going to be able to have some, some good conversations, hopefully, hopefully around this idea of how to further your relationship with God. So let's dive right in today. We're going to start by reading Proverbs 9 verses 10 and that says this, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Um, and that first raises this question in me, um, which is actually question one. Why would fearing the Lord be the beginning of wisdom? Then question number two um, comes from a pretty interesting story about Jesus being tempted. This is out of Matthew 4, 1 through 11. Um, and after you read that, I want you guys to answer, ask yourselves these questions. Do you ever feel like you have been led out into the wilderness? Um, what did that wilderness look like for you? And what made that wilderness difficult? Question number three, uh, when Satan goes and tempts Jesus in the wilderness, he does so in three ways. The first way is playing on his physical need or desire. Jesus had fasted for 40 days. He was hungry and Satan played on that. The second is the temptation of pride. Satan put pride in front of him and also he put the, the temptation of power and fame. So of those three things, uh, the physical need, Temptation of pride, and the third is the power and, f and fame. What one of those three have you maybe been tempted with? Question number four. Um, and I didn't actually realize this point until I read it this past week. Uh, notice how long it takes for the devil to strike. Right, how long it takes him to go against and tempt Jesus. He waits 40 days. He knows when Jesus might seem or appear to be at his weakest, and that's when the devil strikes. So the question is this, how did Jesus refute the temptation of the devil? All right, groups, that is it for our normal questions. As always, I would love it if you guys would end the day with um, talking about if there's any specific things that jumped out at you from the teaching this past weekend or if there's something that hit you in devotions. Uh, spend some time talking about that and then make sure you guys end in prayer. Um, and if you guys have time after that, our Digging Deeper section I think is really good this week and talks about this idea of temptation one step further and has some conversation about other people who have been tempted in the Bible and other ways that we can fight against those things. So um, that is a great way to be prepared for what's really coming in this world and the daily battles that we have. How can we fight temptation? And the more knowledge you have on that, I think the better. So uh, it's been great seeing you guys again this week. I can't wait to see you again next week. Have a great week.